Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick and simple flower embossed thank you card. First off, I use my Big Shot and the flower embossing folder with some red cardstock. Now if you don't have a flower embossing folder, then you could totally cut out some flowers and stick them to the card base instead and it would work fine. Next I grabbed my corner rounder and rounded the corners of the flower cardstock and the card base. I then adhered the embossed cardstock to the front of the card using my ATG tape runner. After the background was attached to the card, I grabbed a scrap piece of white cardstock that I had lying around from when I trimmed the card base down. I used my ATG tape runner to attach it to the middle of the card. Once it was attached, I grabbed my detailed scissors and flipped the card over and cut off the little piece that was hanging over the edge. Once the piece of cardstock was cut off, I then used my Martha Stewart's thank you punch and decided to use some red and black cardstock. I thought the red would match the background of the card and the black would make a good shadow when behind the red. Oh. Now that the words thank you are cut out, I used my sticker maker to add adhesive to the letters since I thought it would make it easier since they were very small. While running the letters through the sticker maker, I made a mistake and put one of the U's in on the wrong side. You will see later how I fix the mistake. I used my Zig 2 way glue pen to stick the letters, thank you, to the middle of the white piece of cardstock on the front of the card. Here I fixed the mistake by adding some glitter on top of the letters. I make sure to cover all of the letters with the glitter. The last thing I do is use a funnel to pick up all the excess glitter so I can reuse it. I find a funnel works well because it helps to make sure all the glitter gets back into the small container. If any of it accidentally gets on the table, because let's be honest, glitter gets everywhere, then I use a baby wipe to clean it up and it works well and gets it all. 